masks. They hide our faces. They hide our fears. The Oracle Cassandra wore a mask to hide her shame. She knew what the future held and nobody believed her. They thought she was a joke. And when disaster struck, just like she foretold, they blamed her. But they still didn't heed her warnings. Even as they washed away the ashes and blood of their ruin, they laughed at her. <laughs> and what's so funny about that? My little girl? A cop? I resubmit the question, Dad. Barbara, be serious. I didn't put you through college so you could walk a beat. You didn't put me through college. My scholarships did. Still... And what's a detective do? He searches for information. A detective, is it? You don't even meet the minimum height requirements. Oh, fine! <laughs> Where are you going? You're the detective. You figure it out. One cop in the family is enough. I won't let my daughter become a cop. You hear me, Barbara? Ugh. I have to find another path. Divine my own future. One uniquely mine. To Dad, I'm all talk about digging for information. I want to be in the action. Anything that'll get me out of where I am. Miss Gordon? Yes, Donald? Um, uh, the writings of Epictetus uh, go under classical or Roman history. Donald, you know those books go in the philosophy stacks. If you want to ask me out, then ask me out. Well, I, uh, um... <laughs> I have to escape a destiny I can see scrolling out in front of me in paralyzing tedium. I need something physical. Something with an edge to it. Come on, try and take me. I'm not sure, Mr. Parsons. Call me Dragon Cat. Come on, show the class. Prove me wrong. Show me you belong in this class. Because I don't think you can cut it. I... What was that? Did you say you're weak? Did you say you're small? I'm scared. I knew it. See, class, you have to want it really bad. And Babsy here just showed us she doesn't want it bad. Dad thinks I'm too short. My sensei thinks I'm too girly. Let them underestimate me. <laughs> You're breaking my arm! Let me go! Oh, I don't know, Dragon Cat. I'm not sure you want it bad enough. Very impressive, Miss Gordon. But what are my chances, Agent Boyle? I, I understand I need a law degree. I've taken pre-law and... Yes, yes. For such a young woman, you have an extensive academic career. I see your area of expertise is information gathering. Very helpful for an FBI agent. Uh, I want to do more than clerical work, sir. I was hoping to be a field agent. Well, then I'm afraid you'll also have some growing to do. You don't meet our minimum height requirements. Let them think they have the upper hand over the little girl. And when their guard is down and their pride is rising, let me kick their butts up around their ears, with or without two-inch heels. That would have ended the fight three minutes ago, but he wouldn't be having fun. I never wanted to be Batman. I made this silly get-up to rankle Dad. It's a joke at his expense. Truth to tell, when it comes to inspiration, I side with fishnets over leather. After all, he isn't the only game in town. Not that Dad would approve anyway. Despite his unconventional partnership with an urban legend, Dad's pretty vocal about his mistrust of masks and costumes. Uniforms, costumes, the clothes we wear over who we really are or really want to be. So you're saying it's possible, Murph? Uh, possible, yes. Ethical, no. Murph, forget we had this conversation, and you can keep that dog-eared copy of Lady Chatterley's Lover. Ah, done and done. We're now going live to Somerset Slaughter Swamp Wetlands, where the Justice Society- Gotta go 
Dad. Go? Go where? It's 11.15. Uh, I've got a late martial arts class. At 11.15? It's a 24-hour dojo, Dad. The latest thing. I count all six active Justice Society members on the newscast battling Solomon Grundy. Again. The jog to their headquarters is less than six minutes. Four if I really push it. And I do. Dad's override code defeats the security grid. Hello? I shut down the motion detectors. I turn off the laser matrices. I leave the cameras on. I want to be seen. I want to be heard. I want my presence known. I see grappling hooks in my future. My fate, which I leave in the hands of strangers. Old gods who still believe in old tricks. I wager my destiny on new tricks. Unless I amend the course, the Justice Society of America will believe that Police Captain James W. Gordon entered their headquarters at 1119 on this night. I can't let that happen. So I shut down the Gotham power grid and their block for three full minutes. In theory, the JSA security system backup will kick in, relock all the doors, and scramble all the present access codes, wiping the slate clean. Tomorrow, everyone will be issued new security numbers. In theory, I get rid of the evidence nevertheless. But didn't you just buy a new computer last April? Upgrade or die, Dad. Late dojo. Gotta go. Don't wait up. They call them mystery men. Women, too, but never as many. You the valuable asset? Um, yes? Speak up, girly. What do you want with the canary, kid? And what's with the mask? You, you wear one! Yeah, well, I ain't got a pretty mug like you, Green Eyes. You want to explain why you went to so much trouble to deliver this little fan letter? I was hoping you'd forward it! The Society ain't a messenger service, Green Eyes. Canary's got another engagement, and I'm pretty sure she ain't in the market for apprentices. This life ain't for you, Green Eyes. So what do you see for Green Eyes, Doc? I see triumph and tragedy. They treat me like some delusional little girl. I believe it, too. I see what they see as providence for a while. No dates, Babs? No. Late night karate? Uh-uh. Uh, your new computer? It's fine. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's resignation. <clears throat> uh, uh, about what you said last week? <laughs> or maybe it's something else. Something deeper. And I'm not finding much help changing my mood. You can't get away from all the masks and costumes and capes. Who gave them the right to turn me away? What credentials do they have? Barbara, I'm worried about you. Me? Except for going to work, you haven't been out of the house for weeks. So? You have no social life. Like you do? <laughs> I'm a cop. Oh, that's right. And I'm not a cop. D don't start that again. What's this? An invitation to a party. Dinner, dancing, boys. At least think about it. Okay, Dad. It's very popular with all those stories in the paper. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that what the Batman is supposed to look like? Uh, who knows? Right, who knows? I got Superman. No thanks. Wonder Woman? Please. Is this how they do it? Masked vigilantes. One stitch at a time until the costume makes you into your future. Well, what do you think? Huh? The Sultan or the Cowboy? Uh, they're both great. The Sultan isn't too, uh, silly? 
Cops can be relentless, you know. <laughs> it's fun, Dad. Oh, you're making your own costume. Yes. Can I see? Not until it's finished. Oh, all right. Let it be a surprise, then. Yep, a big surprise. <laughs>